Am I back? Something's going on with my internet. I'm going to text my husband and see if he's on a video call or something. Actually, he's leaving soon. Uh, either one. My video keeps getting dropped. Of course this has to happen on the last day. I'm trying to finish. But hey, you're back. And I'm back. So, I'm going back to pinning. Or clipping. Whatever we want to call it. So I'm clipping my bodice to the on the right sides together with my skirt. And I'm doing the casing version of the Virginia. I don't know why it's not working with the, so probably when it reloads, hmm. I don't know why today would be bad because literally the kids aren't here, which is always a problem. Um, and my internet shows all bars. Like it's, I think they're finally just saying, wait, you're going live a lot. Let's make it difficult for you. <laughs> Right? It's all a plan. All right. It says, sew tank to skirt with a 5 8 inch seam allowance. Wow, 5 8 All right. I got to remember that as I go over to my sewing machine. I'm not going to the serger. That's just a trick. Five eighths of an inch. I have to keep saying five eighths of an inch, five eighths of an inch. <laughs> oh, hopefully I didn't do my pockets too high. I don't think I did. I think it's perfect. Five eighths. I don't have to leave a hole for elastic because that's with the, okay. Just, just repeating some things to myself, folks. This is a great time to use a walking foot if you want. This machine is actually halfway decent without it. The fact that Jeff didn't write me back means he's probably on a video call. Great. I'm stretching my skirt piece just a little bit to make sure it lines up. And I'm okay with that because I'm going to bring it right back together with elastic. Oh, you know what I know I did before? Hmm. I typically surge this edge together. I didn't do that. I wonder if the directions tell you to do that. One half done. Almost there. Still going strong? Mm -hmm. <laughs>
All right, now I'm gonna surge the edge. I don't have to, but I want to. Oh, I gotta slide all the way down. Hmm. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, can you, are you looking at comments? Can you bring up Illustrator? Do you see it at the bottom of the screen? I need to um, make sure I'm saying. <laughs> I don't want to cut anything off. I'm going to leave that off. What's up? I got my tickets for the long run. Two cup of whiskey. And I should have my son's We have two new viewers on YouTube. Deborah Hunter's Tay. Mm -hmm. And Heather J. So I keep my bobbins over here. <laughs> What's the learning curve on that? Where I'm going, where I'm going, you're gonna miss me. I'm going. All right, now I'm gonna look at the directions before I do this wrong. <laughs> There's only so many brain cells at work at one time. Edge stitch, seam allowance to skirt with the stretch stitch to skirt. That was the part I was looking for. Just let me say, my son has a pair of ready to wear jeans that have one pocket folded all catalog and his top stitched into a side seam. <laughs> Yep, sounds about right. Stretch stitch, ready. So I'm going to make sure I back stitch. Making sure my seam is lined up here. And I'm going to leave an opening. You hear me say this because I struggle with that. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to put this here as a reminder. I'm not that bright. That's why I keep you around. You're brighter than me. <laughs> so as I'm edge stitching, I like to make sure it's smooth underneath and hopefully straight. A little bit of wiggle won't really matter, but if I get a bad wrinkle, it'll be obvious. But again, the elastic gives you a little bit of wiggle room. You're still going? Yep. <laughs> and crapped out on me yet? No. Deborah says she doesn't put pins to mark the opening. She forgets every time. <laughs> See, I'm not alone. You know, one of the things that happened in the family was um, in a live, I was fighting with the middle school over one of my children. 
No, it was the elementary school that day. Hmm. <laughs> this might say more about me. <laughs> and I was complaining about a phonics test. And Fern, who's in the family, it wasn't that she agreed with me. It was that she said it was academically inappropriate. And it gave me the confidence to fight it, like to fight it a little bit harder. Whereas before, I probably would have just rolled over and been like, Sid, we got to keep practicing. Like, sorry about your luck. You got your spelling genes from your dad. But because, you know, because I had that support and it, it just was one of those conversations that I happened across because of the family. I felt very fortunate. I don't know if Rebecca Pollock is on, but I think it was her. I think it was Rebecca Pollock. She was sewing a um, a romper the other day, but it wasn't a five out of four romper. And then she showed me pictures and I was like, I know exactly how that casing is formed because it was this. So I was still able to help. Mm. Although Fern, I gotta be honest, that same teacher just gave him a spelling test and they always have a sentence to end. And there was only 10 words, like she kept to that part, but in the sentence was the word awesome. Never been one of their phonics words, right? Not spelling words, phonics words. Sydney missed it, got it wrong. I'm like, oh my gosh. Just... Wow. Yeah. Let's see, how much room do I want here? Whew. All right, look at that. My ears are red. I can feel them, which is weird. I don't know if somebody's talking about me. <laughs> I'm so close. Woohoo! All right, I am so close. I went to the wrong camera. I just wanted to see my face. Now we'll go back to the other camera. All right, let's turn this inside out. How about? I've got my casing sewn down. If I weren't live, I might press it. I just want you to know that. Um, just because I like to, I do. Here is the opening that I actually remembered to leave. Hopefully, I also left enough room for elastic. Let me, oh, 3 8 inch elastic. Let me grab my elastic. I might do one quarter, it seems to. Uh, I'm I'm sliding the elastic around my waist. You want to see me do it? <laughs> Very scientific here. Ah, oh, you can't even see my waist. Bye. I can't see whose name that is. But Cindy. oh, bye, Cindy. Cindy just got her second vaccine, so that might be why she's crashing so hard. All right. So this is me. Very scientifically. I want. I want it a little bit tighter, I think. I don't want it too tight. I just want it, you know, tight. You never know. The good news is, is I can, um, well, go back to my face. <laughs> the good news is, is I can put it in, try it on, see if I like it, and then tighten it. That's the good news. Whereas under bust elastic, doing it with the surgery, you don't have that choice. All right, so we have two choices here. We have the bobkin, bod, bodkin, not a bobkin, <laughs> bodkin, B-O-D-K-I-N. Or we have the old school safety pin. Now, I like the safety pin. I don't, I, I'm, I'm mentally a lot older than I look, folks. 
I am an old soul. I see it in my children too. <laughs> so yeah, I like the safety pin. There are tons of gadgets. I used to have this one gadget that a friend had that like was a big purple piece of plastic and you would like somehow thread the elastic in the end, but it didn't feel secure to me. And she would like go around the waistband and like pull it through and it, it was like magic. It was amazing. Bodkin for the win. Ah, June, you're on team Bodkin, huh? Oh, well, I'm a fan of vodka too. I will say that a nice vodka tonic is a great way to start my weekend. <laughs> my husband is a gin and tonic drinker, if anybody's curious. <clears throat> My husband was never a drinker until recently, even though he spent four years in the Marine Corps. Wow, impressive. Yeah. And uh, so he, he's, he's very much a light weight. He sticks to 420, that's it. <laughs> and yeah, I love me some red wine. I know nothing about red wine. I like, like some of it. I'll drink it if it's in front of me. I don't know. It's not my thing. Too classy for me. I'm a nice, like, you know, Alabama Salama. <laughs> like, what's going to get the job done? <laughs> oh, funny. Deborah thinks it's literally called the purple thing. But there, is a, there is a tool called the purple thing. Yeah, I think that's a little short one, though. It's, it's, it's like a, a little flat edge, so you can cram things underneath the floor. I do like that, but I, I've also just used my tweezers. Mm. Has anyone on here tried vodka with water ice? And the flavors to sweeten your drink. No, but do tell or invite me over. <laughs> when we had our five out of four retreat, it was in South Carolina. And in South Carolina, you can sell vodka from like a an ice cream truck type thing because it's a solid. Like they would sell slushies. The vodka or like they weren't all vodka. They were like alcohol slushies. I did partake. Um I'm a lightweight too. I have never enjoyed the feeling, you know, of the next day. So yeah, not a big partier. I don't even drink sodas. I'm like the world's most boring human, I think. I, I don't drink sodas. I don't drink sweet tea. I like hot tea. Oh my gosh, that part and um. <laughs> And Ted, Ted Lasso, and they're like, how do you take your tea? I take it right back up to the counter. That's what I normally do. <laughs> ah, that's like the best show on television. So if you don't have Apple TV, really, I'm honestly going to tell you, just, you know what? It's awesome. This is the best show on TV. Oh, I'm so close to the end. There's a seam in my way. Come on, little buddy. Kristen says, I like spicy Bloody Mary with bacon. That sounds interesting. I don't even know what to make of that. It sounds like a breakfast meal. <laughs> Excuse me, can I just have this and this? I have never had a Bloody Mary. Me either. That's kind of a, the dog that's the hair, the dog that they eat the next day. Is that what you're supposed to drink there? I don't even, I don't know. Yeah, Do tell, Michelle. I, I am not, Your life sounds a lot more interesting than mine. I'm not an alcoholic. I am a beer and wine kind of chick. I don't do beer. I am, oh, oh, I made it. All right. Look at this. You can't see it. <laughs> now you can. All right, I made it. So I'm going to overlap. Hmm. I'm just going to go ahead and sew it because, you know, why not? Let's assume that it's right. I have a song in my head and the original singer is really so much better than me. So I'm trying not to sing it out loud. <laughs> it's that cup song, but I really like it sung by Anna Kendrick because she's just so nice. I have to say Pitch Perfect albums are some of my favorite. Oh my gosh. And my favorite movies because they're so funny. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to go over to my Stella machine and I'm going to do a little uh, ziggy zaggy right here. And then guess what? We're like one step closer to being done. She likes some sweet company. All right. 
<laughs> or, as Matthew McConaughey would say, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, so I am going to make a quick exit to the rest of the room so I don't flash anybody to go try on my dress. What do you think? Exciting. Yeah. So Michelle's going to tell you some jokes, do oh, a little stand up. Okay. She's a. Uh... <laughs> I'm going to leave my microphone here so you don't hear me grunting in the bathroom as I'm trying to get my clothes off. <laughs> uh, I adore Pitch Perfect. See, it's just, it's like a go-to background movie for me. There, I have a couple. I mean, okay, Pride and Prejudice is one of them. I'm not going to lie. But I, I love Jane Austen. I can't. And don't tell me how the two-hour version is better. Because we'll have a, a real debate over that. All right, before I go try it on, I'm actually just straightening out my my gathers. Although that'll happen when I get it on, too. I'm pretty excited. I can't wait to show Mindy, the designer of this fabric. I went to Hawthorne last night and bought a bunch. <laughs> I'm glad I'm an enabler. Actually... Indie Bloom Design is having a giveaway on their Instagram page today, too. That's cute. Yay! Alright, you want to see it on? Let me take off this. <laughs> the microphone is on the webcam now. Hopefully people can still hear us. I don't like red beard. Hmm, interesting. Killings is a red beer. I've never, I, I, I haven't had beer since I was. Oh, because it's gluten? Well, I didn't go gluten free until I was 31. No. Yeah. But I've never liked the taste of beer. Mm. Ever. Um, I mean, ugh. I had to eat a lot of bread if I was trying to drink beer. <laughs> not a fan. I liked Mike's Hard Lemonade, but they're not really gluten-free either, so. All right, I'll be right back. Pitch Perfect is a great movie. Set of movies. I keep going back and forth so that I can read the comments because I can't see them from where I was. Hard cider. I think that's what Jessica drinks as well. That's what she had the other night when I was over. It is nice to have a sewing buddy. Some of my friends claim that they sew, but I've never really seen anything. So, yeah, when I found out that Jessica just lived down the street from me, I was so excited. I turned all fangirl. Ginger beer and a Moscow mule. I've never had a Moscow mule. Are those good? An IPA on this hot summer day. See, we should have a sip and sew one night, too. Although I don't know how much sewing we would get done. <laughs> oh, I have to tell another story about the family. Over Christmas, I was putting together um, a stocking for my youngest, and I'd never sewn a stocking before. I'm not a, an, an experienced sewist. I'm completely self-taught, and I couldn't seem to get the cuff to go around the stocking properly. And I was getting frustrated, so I posted in the family, and <clears throat> Margie happened to reply, and she said, I'll give you a call in a little bit, and I'll help you. And she called me on Facebook, someone I'd never met before, and walked me through it, and told me exactly what I had to do, sat there and watched while I sewed. It was great. That's another perk that I should have mentioned the other night that I forgot about.
yeah, so it was a great thing for me because I am very introverted as well. And here we are. Yeah, I think I'm gonna tighten the elastic some. It's interesting how differently it drapes than the other one. It's very cute though. Yeah. So let's see. Well, I don't have anything to stand on, so you don't get like the full view. I'm gonna say, figure out how to get you over to the fish macaw. Here, we'll just do this. We can see my socks and all my glory. A uh, Long Island iced tea, Tina. High five. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. I'm looking at the pulling just to make see if it's something I did. So it, it's still not super tight here. I think I'm actually going to tighten the elastic just a little bit before I get pictures. It's very cute though. Thank you. If it were warmer, I'd wear it the rest of the day. It's chilly out today. Yeah. Looks awesome. <laughs> I'm reading all the comments, that's why. Huh. Oh. So I told them the story of how Margie called me on Facebook over Christmas to help me with my stocking because I was huh. getting all discombobulated. And um, I just thought that was the sweetest thing that something I didn't even know. I think that's awesome. So Margaret said that when I, w I was glad that when Margie, Margie said she was going to call you, she left our peer group Zoom call because I wasn't able to put the words on how to fix your stocking into text. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. Have I done, I have not done my final press. <laughs> I haven't done my final press. No, I haven't. So I have a final press. I might shorten the skirt a little too. Um. It is a great use for this fabric. And my friend Jen McCarran with Freckled Flower, you want to bring a chair? I'm the driver of this bus, what am I doing? <laughs> um, it's going to take pictures of us. She's the with Freckled Flower Photography here in, in Marriott or Roswell. And she's the one that did my pictures before. Actually, any picture that you've seen that doesn't look like I just did it in my bathroom mirror was Jen. Her son and my son went to preschool together, and she's the best. So, I love her dearly. I love the butterflies. I love the butterflies with the polka dots. I do wish that the band had more lycra in it. Since it's a jersey, the recovery is not as good as I would hope. But I'm happy. And I would totally wear it with, um, like, this weekend. If it, it, it did get chilly all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're in a sweatshirt again. Yeah. <laughs> It's like the minute, there's a joke at our house. The minute I get out the summer clothes, it gets cold. The minute I put away the winter clothes, it gets cold. Like every single year. All right. So that's all we have, right? Mm -hmm. That's it. That was the end of our sew along. It only took me an hour and 38 minutes mm, to finish. You know, total, we're at like a really long time. We don't have to be fast. We just have to enjoy the process and let it help us clear our minds. Mm -hmm. So a couple things I wanted to share. I'm going to turn off my cameras over here. Oh, I'm going to turn off this one. Um, it's funny. I've been in pants all day, and now I'm in a skirt, and I'm like, ooh, sitting with my knees together. <laughs> if you had it, had cut it on the bias, would that work better? For the jersey neck binding? Probably not. Um, maybe? I don't know. I've never tried that. I'll be honest. I typically stick to a lot of lycra. Um, you know what? I'm going to show you something. Hold on. So I happen to have my other one, and this one is made with double brush poly. So this is a jersey, which is cute. But just a second. I'm going to show you this one. I'll get her to stand back up when she comes back.
so the reason we're doing this is so you can see different types of fabric and how I'm not wearing a bra, sorry. It is what it is. Um <laughs> but it has a little bit more drape. You feel that? Mm -hmm. Is it obvious or is it just in my head? No, you can totally tell the difference. The jersey seems like it's a little bit stiffer. Yeah. Um but the difference is is I don't wear a lot of double brush poly in the summer here. Too hot. Too hot. Too hot. Alright, hold on a second. I gotta go pull the coat open. <laughs> I can't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm missing bacon. Wait, what? Oh, I just said that. <laughs> I don't remember seeing that. That was amazing. <laughs> uh, you didn't. Well, I just said bacon, so you got that. There's going to be other things. What have I not said? Oh. You know what? We will talk about this for just a second. So Jim Rohn is one of my favorite self-help authors. Um, the Jim Rohn Library on Audible is like a collection of all of his talks that he gave over the years. And it's super dated. And he's, it's super dated. But I will say that it really, like I listen to it on repeat. And some of the things he said, there's one that has been really, um, I'm going to sound super cheesy, important for my marriage. And instead of like, I'm going to work on you for me, he says that you should say, I'm going to work on me for you. And I think that's really important in my life. Like I, I kind of hold that really close. I constantly work on myself in order to serve others, whether it's my marriage or my kids or whatever. And we talk a lot about development book or like self-help development books. Oh, good. You said bingo already. Awesome. Um, but I, I don't like like the really basic level of you're great. I like to dig in a little bit and like really focus on the deeper stuff. Like Brene Brown is totally my jam. What top am I wearing? Oh, this is an Annabeth and I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> there you go. We're hitting all the bingo words. Um, so I'm going to say, I'm going to wrap this up so that I can start making Stella a birthday present. But I, I just want to say that tonight's the last night to join the 5 out of 4 family. Um, it's just, it, like, it's a really special group. And I think it's awesome. The people who are, are get involved, who take part in the peer group or the book club, like, really actually make an effort, get the most out of it. I'm not going to shy away from saying that. Like, it is a commitment. Um, it's not a stressful commitment. No, no, not at all. And I remember at first, like, people were like, peer group? I don't want somebody to pressure me into anything. No, it's not that at all. It's just, um, it, it's like a truly supportive group to be a part of. And personally, I think it's worth way more than $14.99. And I can honestly say that in the fall, the price is going to go higher. Just because the more I add to the content library, the more information you have at your fingertips, and really, the more people that we get involved over there, the better the group becomes. And this is another bingo square for all y'all out there. It's uh, we is greater than me. Because that's, I truly believe that. Only through lifting up others can we also lift ourselves up. So I think there's enough pie for everybody. Wait, aren't we going for a blackout? You know what? We're just going for bingo. <laughs> Bingo's fine. I'm not picky. Otherwise, I'd have to say all these things all at once. <laughs> Why would I say the word weekender? There I go. I said it. <laughs> I do like that pattern, though. No, just the line is fine. <laughs> I broke into song. Laura saved me. See, I'm saying it out loud. It's not really the same. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to sign off. Go check out the 5 out of 4 family. If you have any more questions, I'm going to be online here to answer them. Just send me an email. You can just hit reply. Honestly, it's that easy. All right, got anything to add? No. Nope. No. Nope.
Everybody, give Michelle a round of applause for being here with me. Yay! Let's do the little snappy clap. All right, take everybody. Take care. Not take everybody. That would be awkward. Take care. <laughs> Remember, never stop sewing, never stop growing. See you on Tuesday. Bye.